Well, hello, hello, YouTubers. Welcome to GTEC. Today, we start a new series with the Phase Linear 700 Series 2 upgrade. I'll be getting into the background of this amplifier here in this short. If you like these episodes, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Well, let's get into it. This is where it all started for me, this exact model. The Phase Linear 700 Series 2 was the amp that launched my obsession with high-powered audio. I was just 17 years old when I got my first one. The day I first powered up the 700 Series 2, I couldn't believe the raw power and clarity. It was a whole new world. Now this is where things really get exciting. Check out the rear view. 20 output devices total, 10 per channel. These are all original PL909s, making this amp a true quasi-complementary design. But they're all coming out and will be replaced with 10 MJ21195G and 10 MJ196G 250 watt transistors for a fully complementary configuration. Let's take a quick look at the original specs from the manual. The power output is 360 watts RMS per channel into 8 ohms. Total harmonic distortion less than 0.09%. It has a total of 450 watts continuous per channel into 8 ohms and 550 watts continuous a channel into 4 ohms. The typical distortion at rated output is 0.009%. Now this board here is one I built a while ago from White Oak Audio. It's configured for a quasi-complementary setup, so I won't be using it in this build. Instead, I've ordered a brand new board and this one will be fully configured for a fully complementary output stage. And here's one of the newer VU meters I built, also from White Oak Audio. These are fully multicolored Cylon style meters. I bought the LEDs to do that and I'll be upgrading both channels with these. They look phenomenal in action. I'll also be upgrading the power supply with these NichiCon 15,160 volt capacitors. Not only are they fresh and high quality, but they'll ensure stable operation at high current demands. And there you have it, some basic information on the Phase Linear 700 Series 2 amplifier. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. One way by doing that is to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Well, that's a wrap. <laughs>